Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes. Back on good old Satisfactory. Kinda ready for another day. Going to be continuing on our modded playthrough here. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video, along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager, so you can download and install mods for yourself. Yes. So, um, just as, uh, you know, right before we get started here, um, I would like to mention uh, that I am going to uh, put Planet Coaster, the Planet Coaster series on hold for this week uh, because I've been incredibly exhausted and I'm having a very hard time recovering, um, you know, just being exhausted, and not, you know, kind of lack of sleep a little bit here and there. It's just, it, it is hard to, it, it, I'm having a hard time being brought back from that and it's just like, I'll record, I'll record the one video, you know, this series, Satisfactory, and then I just, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to take a nap for a bit, and I just never get there, or I'll take a nap for like, I don't know, like 20 minutes or whatever, <laughs> and I can't sleep. Uh, yeah, it's been a little, uh, just a little bit exhausting this week, so uh, uh, we're just going to kind of take it easy, and uh, don't worry, we'll pick up Planet Coaster next week. Uh, I just, I just, uh, kind of just want to do, uh, since Satisfactory really can't be stopped at this point, because we're so far into it, obviously, uh, and this is what my channel is, uh, main, and this is my main series, so I can't really stop that, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Satisfactory on hold this week, um, and, uh, I did explain it in a community post as well, so if you want to know, uh, if you want a, a reminder or whatever, you can look over at the community tab. Uh, and it'll be over there as well. If you don't want to comment on this video or whatever. Um, uh, or whatnot. So, yeah. I, apologies for that. I, I do apologize. But, man, I just... I don't know. I feel it's kind of... Uh, oh, I'm taking this train, but sure. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I want to do it on this way. So, yeah. I just, I just feel it's needed just to take a little bit of break from both videos. Uh or from both series, and just, that, that clips that, okay, um, from both series, and then what we'll do is we'll just, um, we'll just do Satisfactory this week, and, uh, whatnot, that way, because, uh, if, if I go on with both series, what's end up going to be, end up happening is we end up, um, what do you call it, <laughs> we just end up, you know, shorting the, the, the videos, uh, and end up getting less done and, and whatnot. So just like, yeah, I just need a little bit of a break, you guys, if that's okay. <laughs> right. Um, oh, so, uh, as you may have noticed there, that hill no longer comes down at a two meter and then, or two meter slope and then flattens out and then goes to a one meter and now slopes from a two meter down to a one meter very gradually. Um, I managed to work that out. Uh, in between episodes, I actually spent quite a few hours um, doing uh, a few little things here and there. Um, I kind of rebuilt the train line down here. I haven't got the supports in yet. I was uh, so we're just going to show here uh, just real quick. Um, but yeah, we go around in a circle here and go down our little little circular dealio make it to the bottom now this is uh this is going to be the uh what do you call it the um the bauxite the bauxite train line because the bauxite's a 10 car train uh i did manage to also on the quartz line uh the quartz the two quartz trains are running now um they are picking up um stop just stop. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, the court, the uh, courts trains are running now. Um, they're a little close together for some reason, but whatever. Um, so yeah, both both courts mines. The trains are being, the trains are going out and picking up the stuff. Although they are full because we're not using the courts at the moment, um, nor the box site. So the box site's going to come down this way. And as you can see, I've made this. Uh, I kind of rebuilt this little section here. Made a nice. A really nice intersection for it. Uh, 
and we just we almost hit this by the way <laughs> so close eh, squeeze on by uh, but yeah and I've also replaced all of my intersections um, they all now have path signals on them because I've noticed I just noticed something recently and I had freaking over 1400 hours in this game and I just now noticing that the um, Looks like I forgot some foundation. That's okay. I rebuilt this as well. But it looks like that the uh, if the trains are going to uh, go through a path signal, especially a path signal that's on an intersection, they will uh, they will uh, what do you call it they will queue on that path signal, so they will basically reserve the intersection before they even get there. Uh, that's why they're better than than the block signals and the simple block signals. So yeah, if we were a train, um, if we were an AI train, we would have reserved it probably back there uh, or within this block. We would have reserved this intersection. So if another train's coming up to that intersection, we reserve it first. They're going to be stopped even if we're not in the block yet. At least that's the way it seems to work from what I've done. Um, and I also rebuilt this entire intersection to accommodate a dual line. Um, so now we've got a dual line going each direction um, down here uh, and whatnot. So, and I just removed all the foundation so I could put the supports. And I had to rebuild this hill. This hill is actually much straighter now <laughs> than it used to be. Uh, but yeah, I rebuilt that section as well as most of this section. Uh, I built up the bridge um, over here. Uh, to uh, accommodate a dual rail. Now the reason we're doing a dual rail is because the bauxite train is going to be coming from the city on this line. Uh, and it needs to be able to return on this line. And if we had it without this dual rail, the bauxite train had to go all the way down there, go around the thing, uh, and then go through the oil platform, oil train platform, which we could build, we could probably figure out a way to do a bypass rail uh, somehow. Um, but it had to go all the way around and then go up that spiral and then come all the way up there and then go up that spiral and then go back to the train station. But this way, it can just bypass it just like the, um, just like the, uh, the coal train over here. Um, the one coal train that's going for the steel, uh, that brings coal for the steel plant. That one, that, that's the reason there's a dual rail on this section was to bring coal back up here without having to go through all that. And the oil train's the only one that has to go through that, so... Um, that's what it's for. Also, we're within the block. I don't know if it's going to come into the... No, it's not going to. Okay. That's fine. And I also noticed, too, that they reserve it from a, a decent distance. They'll reserve those path signals to go through that block, so that they're the only ones that go through it. Uh, because I was rebuilding that one intersection, not the, not the one I just showed you, but the one right before that. Um, the one where the, the two lines meet. Uh, the two different uh, rail networks meet. Uh, that, inter that particular intersection, um, I, was, I was rebuilding it a few times trying to get it, trying to, get it to, to look the way I wanted it to look. It looked nice. Actually, it looked decent enough. We're going to go right here. Um, and uh, if I didn't get that rail down a couple of blocks before the train had got, like if the train had gotten there uh, within those couple of blocks, it would try to take the the line, it would try to take the other rail line up to where the hub is, and then it was trying to go, basically it was trying to go down that way to get on the quartz line to then go all the way through the city <laughs> and then back around. Um, yeah, pretty insane. Okay, so you're probably wondering, though, you know, why am I bringing the, why am I bringing the construction train or the maintenance train, whatever you want to call it? Um, why am I bringing it down this way? Well, that's because we need a, uh, spot. Uh, just one second. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, sorry, Ed. Uh, normally I'd like get myself ready <laughs> get rid of those damn auto saves it takes so damn long but yeah we need to uh we need a place for the um for the uh the bauxite train 
the box eight train needs a place it needs a train station to be able to stop uh, in order to offload the, all the box sites. So I'm going to use this rail right here. Since it's going to be coming up this way, um, I don't want it to go up to where the oil is uh, and then try to offload somewhere in that section because there's just there's nowhere to do it, and I have plans for that. But we do have some underground areas. Um, just real quick. Somewhere around here, I think. But right now, grab one of the block signals. Oh, I don't have any iron plate. What? Oh, did I use all? I must have used all my iron plate. Just didn't realize. Now I got some iron plate. Need to get this block signal in here, though. And the reason is because I'm going to park my uh, construction train. For some reason, they sometimes they just don't want to go to the other side. I see no sense why I can't. Why can't I do this? What the heck? <sighs> Gains being a pain in the butt again. Yeah, same. Get out. I need to get out of the way. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my uh, get my block signal in here. I'm just gonna put this down like this. Because I need the... Or why don't I just pull it in there and then delete the track? <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing I can do. Bloop. Right through the wall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then I'll just get rid of this uh, track right here. Okay, it's going to go. Good. Alright, that just gives us a, uh, a little thing to work off of. Okay, so... No. <laughs> so, let's try this again. A little bit flimmy today. Um, we need to get our uh, bauxite uh, station around here somewhere. We need to have a, a station to where it can be long enough. We need an area that's going to be big enough in order to house it because remember we've got a 10 car train we've got a 10 car train plus we need a, a station and we need an empty platform um, so if you count that up that's 10 that's 11 and 12 we take that 12 we take that times 2 that's um, uh, 11 and 12 that's 24 foundations at the minimum that's the smallest it can be and you're like talking like the smallest uh, the foundations can be. Uh, we probably want it on foundations, uh, which this area is actually kind of perfect for. I just don't know if it's big enough. Um, I'm just hoping it is. Um, because uh, up somewhere around here, so these, if you don't know what these are, these are uh, these right here, these are roads. So we know where the roads are. So we just gotta pick where we're gonna bring our bauxite. Or our bauxite station. Sta or that. The bauxite station can be pretty much anywhere uh, within this area, uh, just as long as it fits. That's the only thing that really matters, because we can build it from there. Uh, but we need to go up top real quick. Uh, so that's what the plan is going to be today: is figuring out and trying to get our bauxite station. So here's our here's our map of the materials we need. So we need 610 bauxite per minute, which we're going to be pulling way, way more than that. Uh, we need 915 water per minute. I have some ideas of uh, what we can do with that. Um, we might put a second station down here for water um, for the bauxite uh, or for the, uh, the aluminum solution because we're going to need water. And there's two different, if we remember, there's two different spots uh, near that train line, the, all that train line network we just built last week. Um, and the week before, I think we spent, what, two weeks on it? <laughs> it's a huge, massive rail network. Um, we've got, there's a, there's a place where there's water coming out of the ground. Um, 
Actually, I think that's near the copper, but I have an idea for that as well. If that's if that's what that is, if that's near the copper, then we can use that um, that source of water there. But there's also a spot um, underneath the hub station, that massive lake that we can pull water from as well. And we can put another station down there and then somehow manage to hook it up to the hub. Um, obviously, I'm not going to make the hub any bigger. Uh, because it's as massive as it's going to get, and things massive. Uh, but if we can pull water from there uh, into a station nearby, and then get that station hooked into the rail network where the bauxite runs, then we can bring both the bauxite and the water to the uh, Illumina solution. Um, if we can get two 10-car train stations next to each other, that'd be amazing. Uh, then that would bring in plenty of bauxite and plenty of water for Illumina Solutions. So this is the numbers we're looking at. Uh, we're going to be producing 600 Illumina Solution per minute. So we're going to need to add coal as that. Is that coal? Yeah, that's coal. Okay, wait. Did they up the... Did they fix the thing for coal? What about the thing for... Uh, what was it? Iron. Uh, no, the pictures are still kind of... Me. I remember the... Let me try this out real quick. I remember the pictures were kind of messed up. Yeah, they're, they're still messed up. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe they fixed that. It's like, those are the only two that are like, for some reason, the thumbnails for them are really tiny compared to all the others. Okay, so we need to bring in coal, and we're already going to be bringing in quartz. Uh, now, the problem with the quartz is we also got to bring in... We got to bring in two things of quartz. Um... Actually, no. No, we don't. It's just quartz for this. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, we also got to bring in copper um, for this. So that's going to be insane. Because um, we got to produce... Well, it's not It's not too bad. So bring... The, so this goes to this. This goes to that. Uh, if this went to that, it'd just go like that. But this goes to that. And then that goes to these two. So aluminum ingots, how do we aluminum ingots get to these two? I guess I never did put that out there. I think one is a constructor and one's a, uh... I don't know why I did that. Let's sort this out. Something's weird. This aluminum casings are in a constructor, okay. And they're only these, alright. So I'm actually going to change the aluminum casing image uh, to a constructor instead. I don't know why I did it that way. Oops, forgot to save. Uh, yeah, that way I know which building I need for that. So, constructor. Um, take this. A control C that. A control V. And then their case. Whoops, that one, that's right, you don't have to hit enter for that. So. Couldn't see because the autosave. Okay, that's better. So now we need the aluminum casings and aluminum sheets. So yeah, the aluminum sheets, that's the one that needs the copper. Uh, yeah, they need, they need copper ingots as well. So that way I knew. I just, I didn't understand the end of that. But yeah. And <laughs> I know which machine goes to which. Okay. Um, so we got that. So we're, we're, we haven't even started this yet. We're like insane. 
Okay, so the co the uh, box, the cost, the copper, uh, the bauxite, and the water needs to be brought to the facility where we're going to be making alumina solution. So, and the aluminum solution, the aluminum solution, alumina solution, um, is going to be this building here. Now, this building uh, was, and I haven't completely rearranged it yet, but this building right here was um, rubber. Now, the prop, the, the reason I'm not using it then for rubber anymore is because the um, uh, is because we don't need that much rubber. Um, if you just in case you guys weren't here, I'll go ahead and show you just real quick. Like, um, so I've got this wall. This wall is only temporary. It, this eventually will get moved once the uh, once the city center has been built. Um, we just haven't had ever time. We need uh, 400 rubber per minute at the most. Like that. That is the most we can. Um, and we're consuming 105. <laughs> that is it. We're consuming only 105, and we're still sinking this stuff uh, as well. As you can see, the plastic is still going, the rubber is still going, the plastic is going at a maximum rate, it's just going nuts. We've been sinking this stuff for hundreds upon hundreds of hours. It is insane. I'm, I'm afraid to look at this uh, to see how, how many tickets I have. <laughs> It's probably in the thousands of tickets, if I had to guess. Uh, it's probably in the thousands of tickets. Well, actually, it might not be. Um, the, oh, it might not be because, you know, every time you make a ticket, it gets more expensive to make the next ticket. So, uh, but yeah, we got to repurpose this entire facility that was making rubber uh, from crude oil. It was making rubber. Uh, but it's no longer doing that. Uh, so we're no longer producing the heavy oil from this anymore. Actually, there's still rubber in the facility, which I need to finish piping out. Uh, let me uh, let me connect this up and let's get this system drained, so I don't have to deal with it. Because there is uh, there is no more oil going to this, so we'll produce the last little bits. Yeah, let's get that rubber drained. There we go. There probably will still be a few that run in here. Yeah, because they still have um, they still have oil to burn, but it should be disconnected. And see how it's disconnected. It's no longer connected to this anymore. Oh yeah, that's right. I split some of the oil um, between the the rubber and the plastic factories. And these should be running out of oil as well. Oh man, super flimmy today gonna be cutting that out. <laughs> that is annoying to listen to. And me. Annoyed. But yeah, hopefully um, I was thinking about it and I was just like, man I just I just feel like crap this week so far. You know, just super tired, super exhausted. Um, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know, I feel kind of light as far as like my head and stuff like that. So I'm just like, hope I'm not getting sick. That would be, that'd be nutty. I guess it, you know, it wouldn't be unexpected. <laughs> it's just being sick sometimes. Yeah, you know, there's going to be a lot of rubber. But yeah, we need to get the, uh, the bauxite. We need to get that in the water over here. Um, so I'm going to be leaving. You see this, uh, you see this line here? Uh, this, uh, this water or this uh, oil line? This is actually going to stay, like most of this is going to stay constructed as is. Um, because we're going to be, we're just going to be repurposing it um, as well. So uh, the other thing I, I need to do, I think, is uh, 
I need to get the other rubber line moving. I need to drain both systems. So. get both systems drained. It'll be slow, but it'll 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 work. Actually what we should probably do is uh, turn this into a Mark V. Then they'll both be running at pretty much max speed. Go <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving everything Mark IV, and I'm still building with Mark IV until um, until I can actually produce aluminum. That's my whole goal, is to produce aluminum sheets, and then we'll go Mark V once I'm actually producing the stuff. Does something look weird over here? Oh, there's a sign on that. Okay. It's like, what the heck? What is that? What is that weird stuff? <laughs> Maybe I am coming down with something. Yeah, I'm just like super flimmy. Yeah. Nasty. Okay, so walls. We'll go with, yeah, just a single conveyor wall, I think. Oh, wait, we should probably change one of these recipes. This one's empty, so. Uh, let's select recipe. Uh, so, aluminum. Alumina solution. So wait, how many machines did we need for the alumina solution? I think, I think something weird is going to happen here. Um, we might be rotating a, a set of machines. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so the alumina solution needs to be 600 per minute. Ooh, buddy, 600. I'm actually gonna hit N. Type in 600, hit enter. I don't know, you know, you don't have to hit enter. But yeah, type in 600 so I remember it. 600 alumina solution per minute. Can we split that up? Or no? That is the question. So limit a solution on these boxite and water. So we need 600 alumina solution per minute, which is going to produce 50 silica. Okay, so it's 120 without overclocking at all. Uh, so that's six. We only need six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. So these produce 600. Uh, so six of these is all we're gonna need. Um, obviously, we can we can downgrade these. Um, it depends on uh, what we need it next. Okay, so six of them because they do. I didn't realize they did 120 per minute. I thought they'd do way less than that. But, well, I was thinking maybe like 60 or maybe maybe you know like 80 or something. something Something small. Uh, but yeah, we might be doing some rearranging. Uh, okay, so then that turns it into. Uh, okay, so 900 uh, aluminum scrap per minute. So we gotta go from. 
Well, that produces 900 scrap per minute, does it? Yeah, because I'd need to produce 530 uh, ingots per minute, which, so I need 900 scrap per minute to do that. So I need 900. Alright. So the reason I type it in there, because if I hit N again, it uh, stays in the search. So that way I don't have to come back. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta get this figured out. Oh, that one's running. Oh, right there. It's got some oil in it left. Okay, so. How is this getting oil? Oh, it's full of rubber. That's why it's not producing. That's draining. There must be oil in the pipe somehow. <laughs> I don't know how there's oil in there. I, I deleted all that stuff. Sounds like I don't even know how it's getting oil. Oh, did I connect it up on the backside, maybe? No way. Did I connect it on the I If I connected it on the backside... I don't think I did. There'd be no reason to, but no, I didn't even connect it to the wall. Okay, so it just it just ends there. So there must be just oil just floating back and forth. Then that's the only thing that makes sense. There's no other way. There's there, there's no way it's getting oil. Uh, okay, what are we missing? What are we looking for? Right. Okay, so this does 120 per minute. I just want to look real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, so we're going to switch recipe over to aluminum scrap. Oh my gosh, it does 360! Holy crap, Olas, man. And it needs 240. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, okay. And this is where we need the coal, so the coal's got to come in here as well. Uh, so we're going to need a uh, coal station. Um, okay. So we need 900 coal per minute, or 900 aluminum scrap per minute. Uh, so that's that's three machines, and we're we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this has got to get rearranged inside of here somehow. Either that or we got to figure out a way of making this work. This line or this uh, this layout, because this this layout, as it currently stands, is not going to work. Um, we could overproduce, I suppose, because uh, I'd rather leave this facility uh, at least the size that it is, because. I built all the other stuff around it um, to the size of the block. So I'm wondering if there's a way I could use the entire system. We can, like I said, we can overproduce. And that'll be just fine with me. I I'm fine with overproducing. Okay, so we do produce water as well, so we're going to have to do something with that. Um, we Obviously, we can... Uh, we can set up a sink in here somewhere, uh, maybe underground, and sink the aluminum scrap that we don't need. Uh, but the water is going to be a little more difficult because, for some reason, they don't want us to—they don't want us to uh, sink water directly. If we want to sink like liquids, we have to package them. <laughs> Which that—I that, mean, I suppose it is possible. Uh, that we can do that and set up a system to where it packages the water and then sinks it as well along with the, the along with the aluminum scrap that we don't need uh, and we can end up producing way more aluminum um, than we would like than we need honestly okay so it's Okay, so it's two machines per one of these. We need two Illumina solutions per one of these. Um, okay. How are we gonna set that up? That's gonna be a weird. That's gonna be a weird system. A 
It's gonna be a very weird system. Like I said, just a very weird system. You know what I should do? I should just take this, uh, I should just take this stuff and merge it onto this one belt over here instead. So what we do is we do this, or no, we do, um, because this is taking forever. <laughs> Alright, let's do a uh, conveyor splitter. Splitter. Their merger, and then yeah. drain it a little faster. Eventually, it's going to overload the line, but I need this to produce and get rid of all the. I need it to produce all the rubber and get rid of it. I mean, I suppose we could like turn it off, but. I still don't know how this has liquid in it. And I, I'm guessing it's liquid just in the line. Like how is this still replenishing? It's insane. Let's turn it max. There we go. There we go. Now we're running out. Okay. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to overclock it a little bit. Alright, so... Okay. See, it's going to be an interesting system, how I'm going to set this up, because this building's going to be completely different. Um, okay, so it's... So yeah, the reason I wanted to speed this up is because I want to set this one up. So, we have these two right here, right? Like we would normally. Um... Is there a way we could set this up without moving the machinery around? That's my question. Uh, okay. This one's almost out of oil, so the system has finally run out. Um, so I wanted to go... Does it matter which way it goes? Like, if I, if I don't have to move any of the machinery, that, that would be amazing if I don't have to move anything. I can leave it as is and leave it and, and leave it. Um, as well. This still producing pieces. Okay. This is finally done. Okay. So... Let's set, let's set this out for a second. Let's see. select recipe. So we're going to be making a lumen solution. That's the first one because this takes the raw resources. Um, okay, so this one and this one. Okay, so these two aluminum scraps, or sorry, alumina solutions. We take these two alumina solutions and we combine them into one pipe. So we take the 120, that makes it 240, that'll fit inside. Uh, this is a 600, is it 600 or is it 300? 600, okay. So it's 600 um, for a pipe. Uh, okay. So 600 for a pipe. So we've got 240 in this one pipe. So this pipe is going to go from one machine directly to the next. Uh, so we combine. So we combine the two, and then we we pipe it over into this system. Or maybe we combine a few of them, and then run them into to multiple systems. So if we if we have 10, let's say. If we have ten of these, 
uh, then we can do uh, two per one, so it's two of these, two one of these, so there's, there's five there. Um, so then half the, half the facility wouldn't even get used. Unless we rearranged it slightly. I was trying to see how would we do that without... It's like, how would we do that without moving too much stuff? Um, so yeah, five of these wouldn't even work. Um, but we could use... Because we got to bring in... Ah, this is... <laughs> it's so crazy. How am I going to set this up? This is nuts. Without moving anything around, like I can, I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with deleting machines, but I need to move stuff around. So let's say we do all ten. We do all this whole wall is all aluminum solution now, right? So then that makes five of these machines. Five of these machines need to be able to uh, get that aluminum solution. That'll be exact. There won't be a system that creates any extra unless we do say like uh, unless we do say like four machines make an aluminum scrap and then we just have extra um, and then we just have extra aluminum solution uh, as well or we can we can use all ten and then just overclock one because I'm thinking I'm like man I would really like some aluminum solution, like bottles, just for fun, yeah. <laughs> just because. Um, but yeah, if we use this entire wall for aluminum solution, that's what I'm thinking. Then we can have five machines make an aluminum scrap. That's a lot. Right, so select recipe aluminum solution. So we're going to control C. This is going to up some of the cost, but I think it's it'll be effective in the long run. I think if we can produce extra stuff, I'm fine with that. Uh, I always uh, I'd rather overproduce than underproduce. Uh, if I can, if I can get away with overproducing, I'm going to do it, uh, even if it's only overproducing a little bit. So these are all now aluminum solution. Uh, so this is going to go from uh, bauxite and water uh, to aluminum solution. So this is going to be making aluminum solution. What's the color for aluminum solution? I think I get gray, right? Like concrete color, maybe. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, just use that. Okay. That's a luminous solution. And then we'll use like a... I, don't, I wish I could have like metallic colors. So yeah, this, this makes a luminous solution. Okay. So that makes... Um, I remember I thought these were lights at one time. I think they I think they wanted these to be lights, but they don't exactly work like lights. I also need to get some lights in here. I think some like ceiling lamps. Do these even work or is it just uh just a novelty I think. Yeah, it's just a novelty. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh to make those novelties into actual lights, damn it. Just kidding. Uh, I really wish I could, like, like these power outlets, if you could have a set of power outlets that are not only a power outlet, but they have a light on the end of them uh, that actually emits light, that would be cool. Because uh, then you could put the you could put these anywhere. Uh, and you're already connecting the, up to them uh, for normal stuff, so then you could 
you could rope that into um, like these here if these has lights on the end of them emitting a bit of light kind of like a little spotlight or whatever then you could put these anywhere and you're going to be running power through them anyway so then you could do like really cool light stuff with them as well now that would be cool and it would work it, it would be such a simple thing but also you'd have to be really careful with these <laughs> not to get too many uh, going because lights flash after a while okay 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 um side distraction so, so ceilings sorry i'm getting distracted um okay so luminous solution they go out into this now obviously it's not going to there's a little bit glitching up here now obviously it's not going to go down this way um it's going to go into the machines to the the other side of the room um, which is going to create that plus water and the water is going to go back into the system it's going to go back into this system so we're going to bring it around um, and everything's going to be kind of in between the machines I think I think that's how I'm going to have to do it okay but uh, we're going to use the extra room because we're not we're not going to use all 10 of these it's just it's just not going to happen um, for aluminum uh, aluminum scrap um, now if it was one to one that'd be awesome but it's not now we could make it one to one if we really wanted to I actually kind of want to <laughs> if we take this down to uh, 50 percent uh, so now it's one machine per one machine and it only produces 180 and we got to produce 900 with that that would actually be okay one to one you say i don't normally underclock but that seems like a very viable option. So basically we feed this one to this machine and this machine gets fed to this machine and it just makes a loop. Obviously we're gonna need more than 60 water, I think. We need 180. What did this produce as far as water? 120, so even at full clock it would produce Okay, yeah, we're going to underclock those bad boys. So aluminum scrap is like a silvery color, but I can't do a silvery color. Okay. So, we're going to paint this one as well. We need like a sil- we do need like a silver color. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to have one. And we could do white, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll just do white. Just pure white, okay. So water is going to be going into that, so we're going to paint all these machines. Just pure white with a blue stripe. They got a blue stripe on them, but they're they're pure white. So, yeah. oh, and then we need to we do the WSI blue. No, that's for these. So there's going to be water coming out of these ones. I guess this episode we're just going to be setting up the aluminum factory um, and then we'll worry about the, the bauxite stuff train later because we need to get this figured out first I think okay so obviously it's not going to be going down here no more um, so I'm just going to be getting rid of this entire system 
Let's just make sure these are empty, by the way. Uh, let's... Oh! Wait a minute. I has an idea. There we go. Let's get rid of that real quick. Don't know if I have to put them back down. Full pipe network. That should be draining everything. Unless one of these is still running. I think all of them got emptied out though. Okay. I'm hoping that these will go back to... Well, this says none. This says none now. Some of these still say heavy oil. Not in pipes and full net. It's not. It's not flushing that little bit. Um, I'm hoping that these will get cleared out though. Okay, these are finally draining fully. Um, now the amount of the pipe is none. Well, the amount possible in the pipe is now none. Okay. They're finally getting clear. Alright, the game is clearing them out. Uh, okay. Uh, no, let's select that color. We need to change these little pipes as well, I forgot. That's gonna be annoying. Because if we misclick, we're screwed. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about these purple pipes here. This ain't gonna matter. Yeah, I think we found the... Uh, solution to our aluminum solution. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'll go home now. Later! Anyway. Uh, yeah. I think I, I think I got a little bit sick. I think that's what it is. It's definitely, every now and again, it kind of hits me in waves where it's just like, oh, now you're tired. Oh, now you're a little bit nauseated. Oh, now you're tired. Uh, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. <laughs> you know? That's what my body is telling me. So it's just telling me, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed over and over. Which I don't want to go to bed. I want to play video games, Mom. I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, it's so funny. Anyway. Okay, so uh, we need to go. I don't know why I came up here. So yeah, so the water will go into there. And it'll get set back and sent back into the water system, the water pipe. Um, so how much water does these produce now? So these are going to be producing 60 water per minute. So if we go, if we hit N and we take our, uh, oh wait, 60 water per minute divided per 600, which is our Mark II pipe, divided by 60. Should be 10. Because uh, 10 times 60 is 600. Uh, I was about to do that math. <laughs> uh, uh, whoops. Logistics. That's what I was looking for. Sorry, my brain's not working today. Not working any day. So, yeah. These 10 machines can all be put into one pipe. Uh, and then distribute it into the system. So yeah, instead of going down into the floor, these are all going to get mushed together, I think. Or should it just feed back into the machine? I think it, yeah, maybe it should just feed back into the machine so that we can have pipes crossing the floor here. Uh, that'll be fine, that'll be fine. But yeah, we need to get rid of the going into the floor aspect. Or do we? Because it'll go down, then we can go underneath. Do we have the room for that? If we go down into the floor and then go underneath, and then the pipes cross over under here, and then go back up. It'll be less cramped that way. No. 
it's like if we have the room to do it, I wouldn't mind doing it. And of course, I already got rid of like half of them. So along this line here. Yeah, I think we'll just put them back. We'll build a, an under. We'll build an underground chamber for all these pipes to move back and forth. They're not going to be. They're not going to go into the pipe network that's already down there, though. Uh, we're going to reconfigure that, and then that 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 just saves some room. So. Yeah. We are going to recolor these ones, though. It's pretty funny. Watch. See how it's black? This is the color bug. I've moved my. I don't. I'm not gonna click it. Just gonna move my mouse over it. Not clicked. That's purple. <laughs> and now it's blue. <laughs> no weird. Yeah, there's a color bug. That when I save the game and then I reload, it's uh, it's going to uh, turn it black. Don't ask me why. That's just what it does, and they haven't fixed it. But that's okay. And okay, then we're going to switch back to that concrete color. Pull this pipe down here. It's going to be the Illumina Solution pipes. Accidentally colored that one. Didn't want to color that one gray. Okay. Switch back to the WSI blue, which just happens to be the color for all of our water pipes. Okay. okay. Isn't this fun? Isn't it fun to uh, uh, repurpose? building uh, without having to do much <laughs> and it just it just we could just make it work without having to uh, re-maneuver and all that junk it's actually pretty nice too because everything is set, everything is pretty much set up the way we need it um, let's get rid of all that let's see do I have the space I do okay we good Oh yeah, wait until you guys see the, the project. I, I don't know when I'm going to show that one off uh, yet, my progress on that. The massive project. Remember that massive ramp that I have going outside the city? Oh, that goes down to the copper. I have this massive ramp over there. It's a one meter slope. Uh, and it's for both the super highway uh, and, for the, uh, and for the train, one of the train lines, right? That's the train line the um, raw uranium is going to take. Um, and I was building on it uh, today, uh, before I started this episode. And I was building on it for many hours. <laughs> uh, redone it like 45 times. No, not that many times. About four times. Uh, but that's just, that's just how I roll. I just <laughs> I redo things at nauseam until it works to the way I want it to work. But yeah, I'll have to show that off eventually. It just, I, I wasn't about to go down the spiral to get down there <laughs> with the train. I wasn't about to waste my time. Like, that that spiral literally takes minutes to get down. It is, it is a long piece of track. And that's why 
Um, that's why I think the oil train. I thought the oil train was going to um, was going to try and get down there. Uh, you know, thinking that was the shorter path to the city. Once I got it hooked up, um, but no, it didn't. It didn't take that path. And the reason it didn't take that path, um, I'm just gonna wall this off right here. But the the reason it didn't take that path was because. Uh, because of the spiral. So I think if train lines got multiple ways to get to a destination, they're going to take the shortest route. That just that just makes sense, right? Uh, if it doesn't do that, you can correct me. It's fine. I, I don't mind being corrected. In fact, I'm okay with being corrected. <laughs> like, I don't know. And some people are just... Uh, this is just a side note here, but I think, I think some people are just scared to correct people. You know, correct like YouTubers and things. Afraid of being called out or whatever, but yeah, if you got a piece of information that uh, that I said that was wrong, uh, by all means correct me. And if you want to throw a little bit of evidence in there to to cooperate it, I'm fine with that. Uh, be like, oh yeah, you're actually wrong on this. This is how it is, and I'll look at it and, and if it makes sense, and you know there's plenty of reason for it to be that way, then I go, okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. Um, obviously, I played this game at nauseam. I have over 1,400 hours, so there's no there, there's no amount of spoilers you could give me. <laughs> be like, oh yeah, the engineer dies at the end. <laughs> just imagine. Somebody. Uh, somebody's just like, oh yeah, the uh, the engineer dies at the end. There's your spoiler. Uh -huh, I spoiled the game. <laughs> I would actually laugh at that. I think that'd be that'd be hilarious. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> the engineer. Uh, that is funny. I'm just imagining that. The... Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, could you imagine though? You you finish the final phase. And uh, they they like offer you a uh, they offer you a rocket ride uh, back up to space to go to your next planet, and then as you're coming up, they just shoot a missile and blow you out of the sky, so you don't reveal their secrets. <laughs> you just imagine that. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, so uh, colors. Switch this back. Oh, there goes my head again. It's giving me a headache and making me feel dizzy. And yes, I, I am hydrated, properly hydrated and properly got food. I got food in my body, so that's not it. It was it was happening before I before I ate dinner. And I was just like, maybe if I get some food in me, maybe it'll be fine. Because sometimes that does happen. Sometimes I'll forget to eat. I'll be, you know, in this massive project and I won't eat when I normally eat. And then, you know, I, I'm i just like, man, I'm kind of hungry, but then I just kind of ignore it, and then I all of a sudden <laughs> forget the drink and stuff. Like, man, I'm, like, dehydrated and lightheaded. Stuff like that, but that's not, this, that's not the case this time. Uh, so, yeah, I think I, I think I got... I think I, can, I got something. <laughs> I got something that's, that's uh, making me feel bad, so... Um, okay. So we got that. So we need this to, uh, the Illumina solution um, has got to go over into the aluminum scrap, which we did not set the recipes for. So let's do that. Um, so what we can do is we can go Control C. And then Control V. Uh, I thought I hit Control V. Control C at 50%. Control V. Does that, it does set it. Okay, good. Got all the buttons held down now. <laughs> Setting pasted. Setting pasted. 
setting, pasted. Setting, pasted. <laughs> so, a little bit lightheaded, so I'm feeling a bit woozy, so I'm like... <laughs> just acting all weird. Ugh. I am weird. I'm a weird person. Good fun to get along with, though, I think. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I think it's good fun to get along with. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so I need to get the the aluminum solution goes over here. So this system is probably going to be taken down. We don't need it anymore. Um, because we're just going to go straight from there to here. Um, we might run a pipe down of aluminum solution so when we have extra, but uh, yeah, we're just going to go from one machine to the next. So we need to get rid of this system entirely. That side here. Yeah. Because it's just going to go to here. Should we have like a storage, an extra storage on the back side too? Is there room for that? Um, I don't have very many of these. And no, there's no room for that. Okay. I was just curious. So I'm going to care. Straight out the bottom. Okay. So then we'll just go along and remove all the oil the old oil, oil pipes because we no longer need this system. Now the the other side we do need. That one's gonna be the water. Uh system. So yeah, I'm probably going to have like a private sink underground for this uh, for this facility. And what we'll do is we'll we'll also run um, some canisters. Oh no, maybe we should run like a private like a private plastic um, line over here. We'll take like some of the plastic from over on the other side. Just, we'll just take some of one of the pla or take some plastic off one of the lines for for a machine, and we'll just make um, we'll make our own canisters over here for water. Uh, turn them in, turn it to bottle the bottle the extra water that the system makes. Stupid auto save. <laughs> it's always freezing my game, and then making it do that. Okay, we don't need we don't need this, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um, these are gonna be fun to get rid of. Did I miss one? I did. game was not happy about that. Actually froze that one. Well, these have been here for so long, maybe the game's like, ah, where'd those go? You just check and make sure the player did that. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I mean, we can at least bring these out to this, this farm. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll just bring these out to the middle of the foundation here. It's actually good that we have to... Um, I have to do this. Ah, my tinnitus. I don't know if I have tinnitus or not, but it does happen. <laughs> People are all just like, oh yeah, this is what, this is what having tinnitus is like. And I'm just like, I have that all the time. <laughs> it's not all the time, but it, do, it does happen quite often. So maybe I do. And I'm not making fun of tinnitus neither, so I don't 
don't get no funny ideas. I don't make fun of disabilities. <laughs> the only time I laugh at disabilities is when I go, yep, I, I'm there, I'm with ya. That's the only time I laugh at it, because I have it, I can laugh at it. Because when you have something that, you know, is a, not a fun thing to have, then you gotta laugh at it in order to keep your sanity. <laughs> this just got deep all of a sudden. I'm sorry. Okay. So this is the, <laughs> this, we'll just move on. This is the Illumina Solution Pipes. Okay. So I'll bring it all the way over there. Now we're probably gonna I don't know if we'll need a pump. No, we won't we won't need a pump, I don't think. Um, because it is going to the same level. Um, so technically if uh, if this works like I think it works, then it should need uh, so we go to here. It's actually worked out pretty nicely <laughs> with, the, with the coal. I might, I might uh, steal off of that coal. I don't know if I can though. We'll have to see. It goes to the steel mill as well. Okay. Just... Fill this all in. I'll just grab a wall that goes all the way around. It's a mess underneath here, don't look. <laughs> it is, it, it is a true mess though. I guess if we need any more iron, we'll have to go out for big iron mines. The city has expanded so far that I can just get away with a... Uh, uh, you just get away with this, this type of stuff. Up line. Okay, it goes to there. So. I'll just put this down. Let's line it up with this. Now we can just hook up the pipes later. Uh, it, uh, it's just as hard. Maybe we might as well do it all in one go. I'm not getting the pipes are straight. <laughs> I want to make sure. I want to make sure. Just run these pipes down this way. Should we run them? Um, I'm wondering if we should run them like this. Uh, but then we go one, two, and then we just we do like this or something. goes right to the middle. Could just do this, but this 
Ben's on auto, so if auto is not going to do it, this has to be on noodle. I don't know what I'm doing. with Noodle as well. Well, at least it matches everything else. Okay. Uh, so then we just got a collar. I think I'm going to put valves on these as well. That way we can shut them off. Uh, shut off each machine individually. Paint and all the all the paints piped. There we go. All the paints piped it. <laughs> How's that work? Uh, I was getting ready to say that, but I did it. All. I did it anyway because it's more fun to do it like that. But anyway, um, all the pipes have been painted for the Illumina Solution stuff. Uh, so that looks pretty good. So it's going to go from here. It's going to go down there, and then it's going to come back up here. And it should. It should work. We shouldn't need any pumps because this is going to the same level. Um, so it should just up, up and through. Plus, you're going to have a little bit of pressure from the uh, refinery pushing it because it can push it up what it's like upwards of 10 meters, something like that. I can't remember. It's something like that. But anyway, uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. Um, we'll continue this next time where, uh, I guess we'll get the, the, the factory set up. Uh, we'll get everything kind of piped where it needs to go. And then maybe we'll work on getting the water station and the, uh, and the, uh, whatchamacallit. The water station and the bauxite station. Getting those put down somewhere, um, underneath the city. And then bringing all the materials up here and uh, whatnot, so uh, I guess that'll have to be um, later down the line, but uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I know we didn't get a whole lot done, but uh, hopefully you're fine with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, but like I said, that is going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. <laughs>